Hello everyone, and thank you for attending this presentation. My name is Philippe Barail, and I am a technical project manager at the City of Paris. I also work with our city CIO as an open source officer. First of all, I would like to thank OW2 for having me today and giving me a chance to tell about our own platform and what's been new this last couple of years with this city services platform called Lutes. I won't go over the whole history of the project, as you'll find my presentation from 2019 on the OW2 channel, uh, YouTube channel, but I can't go any further without a short overview of what Lutes is. Lutes is the City of Paris signature city services engine that provides a modular platform based on light core features uh, lightweight core features on top of which we can add the needed functionalities through the use of plugins to build our your own customized website. Since 2002, it is freely available as the Council of Paris voted to, out, to outsource its code since public money should found public code. As municipalities share probably more than 70% of their digital needs, and don't have the same means to implement and run our software. It's, it seemed obvious that the, for the elected team to share and be able to connect with other administrations through our software to have it evolve and share the cost of its maintenance. So of course, it is based on real needs and it is always updated with either new functionalities or fixes and upgrades. This year, the platform will blow its 20 candles and offers more than 200 city services through 500 plus standard plugins, the tools and documentation to develop on a normed development framework. Among the available plugins, there are full multi-step form builders with elaborate workflows that allow the users to save drafts, upload documents for any type of administrative procedures. And there's also an appointment booking system that's used for more than 400 shared uh, agendas uh, within all the city departments. There is also a CRM, our citizen, relationship management, which caused it re is also reused for HR purposes on our intranet. In a municipality, we need our elected officials to understand and sponsor this culture of open source. So back in 2002, we strongly they strongly believed that public money should benefit other municipalities or administrations and therefore citizens would only pay once for the public code. This is how Lutes was born. The license we chose for our signature service platform was BSD to facilitate as much as possible its adoptions, reuses and contributions. Our goal is not to protect our code, but to make it as easy as possible for anyone to join and contribute. So the key factors which are important for us and that promotes the use of open source are firstly, trust. Open source establishes trust and transparency between citizens and public services. When you set a digital service factory, you need to make sure citizens trust you as a city so that they use the service and support you in the digital transition. Then we also support the fact that when we use public money, we should therefore, as far as possible, provide public code. Sharing and collaborating between cities and administrations bring progress by promoting reuse, money savings, and so on. And working together enables richer, smarter, flexible software developments adapted to the common needs and concerns of citizens. Cities have their own means to regain control over their digital services, including cost and privacy control. So they must work together in the same direction for digital sovereignty and independence. Having control on our digital services help us reuse our developments 
we are not forced to pay again and again for the same things. This means we need to always keep in mind how to build in order to be reused. This is very cultural. So whenever we need to launch a new service, we only focus, focus on what's new and reuse what can be. This is how the participatory budgeting could be made in only a few months. It's a cultural it's a culture that is deeply rooted in our practices. So I won't have time, unfortunately, to name all of the, um, the upgrades that were made among the hundreds of plugins that are available. So let me focus on Lutus Core, where new efforts were made on what is soon to be released as version 7 anytime this year, hopefully. Partici particularly important in the context of an administrative, we worked on allowing uh, the activation of the logs of all the actions made either in back or end front offices easily. Also, thanks to contributions that were made and very welcome uh, recently, upgrades were also made to allow external configuration management on cloud infrastructures. We changed the implementation of the use of CSS frameworks, especially in back offices, which is also possible in front, obviously, but to give a new level of, of abstraction to be able to switch the CSS frameworks without changing the templates. Finally, we had some shortcomings um, in our management of the internationalization. So new contributions also fixed our handling of the locale, time zones, and so on, since we actually never had this need before. Community-wise, I am firstly very pleased to share that our project Lutes has received the 2020 OW2 Best Project Community Award. This award is important to us. It recognizes our efforts to engage with the open source ecosystem. In doing so, we follow the OW2 good governance model that aims at leveraging open source to create value within our communities. A few new users and contributors joined the community. Some just integrated a few features on the core, and some offered, as I mentioned earlier, their help in our management of the locale, time zones, SaaS features, and so on. So Lutes is offered to undergraduate students at the Johns Hopkins University based in Baltimore in the US. And after a year-long contribution, they will soon host a Lutes website for a local NGO to use. And we're very proud of, I must say. The city of, Paris, of Budapest now uh, also decided to take over Lutes and reuse some of its participatory budgeting solution to launch their own. So we're very excited to soon have Lutes Core and a few other plugins available in Hungarian. At last, um, interesting, uh, a last interesting recent adoption is directly related to the health crisis that we all know when visiting residents in medical facilities has become a challenge for the staff, but also for the residents who cannot remain as isolated from their relatives. So last year, Lutes was deployed on a nursing home website to book visits. So how would you join and contribute to the project? As for any other open source project, please visit our website, lutes.paris.fr, to learn more and how you could contribute to the project. You will notice that its whole design has been redone and the website is more explicit on what the platform is all about rather than just a technical documentation website. So we would be pleased to welcome anyone as a new user contributor to already the existing plugins or module, as well as new ones, of course. Last year, we brought our first MOOC to also lower the technical step to integrate and develop on Lutes. Even if you don't have any technical skills, we would always appreciate efforts on the, on the supported languages and backtracking, of course.
I would like to thank you all for your attention and feel free to ask any questions.